Hello, my name is Tara Girardin with Nexus Family Healing, and I'm here with our CEO, Dr. Michelle K. Murray, and we have a question for our dear Dr. Michelle advice column. Hi, Michelle. How are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? How are you? Good. Thank you. Good. So today we are um, have a question from Christy, and she has an interesting question. She asks, my husband lost his job at the start of the pandemic, which was scary, but he has since found a new one. My problem is he now works all the time, putting in long hours, more than I think he needs to. I don't mind caring for the kids and managing the house, but I barely see him and he's missing our kids' activities. I think he's afraid to lose his job again. How can I get him to stop working so much? Ooh, what should Christy do? All right. Well, if you haven't already, Christy, I definitely think you need to find time for you and your husband to just talk, Frank, about what's really happening. Because there could be a lot of assumptions, or you might already know this, but there could be a lot of assumptions that you have about his um, work stress. Um, you know, is he afraid of losing his job again? So he's purposely overworking, or is this job just very different from his other job? You know, maybe the demands have increased. A lot of people uh, post COVID are finding that their work stress has increased because the demands are greater. Now, it could be because of the Zoom environment. We're all working a lot harder now because people can get to things faster. So the work environment is changing. So find out if this is being placed upon him or if he's creating it. Um, and then I think you need to talk to him about the impact on, on you and find out what his feeling is on that. And then maybe you guys can start to negotiate Um what you what what are your bare minimums that you absolutely need from him and maybe it's he has to at least come to one activity a week maybe it's at least one night a week he needs to be home by a certain hour maybe it's that he's in charge of x y and z and then you have to allow him to do whatever he's in charge of whenever he can so get some agreements about that so rather than making it about he has to stop all this working and he needs to do this find out what he can negotiate to take on. And then you may have to just allow him to continue to work outside of that. Mm, it always goes back to communication, doesn't it? It does. <laughs> it really does. Really important to negotiate this together. Good. That's really good advice. So thank you, Michelle. And thank you all for tuning in again today. And if you have a topic you would like covered by Dr. Michelle, or you would like to browse other questions that have been answered in the past, please visit us at nexusfamilyhealing.org slash advice or click on the link in this post. Thanks again, Michelle. We'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.